here we are going to discuss about calcium chain blocker and beta blocker. So first of all, calcium chain blocker, we used to treat of angina or hypertension. The most common drugs we use as a calcium chain blocker are verapamil, nifidifin, diltazem, felodifin, and amlodifin. So the calcium chain blockers end in P-I-N-E, like nifidifin, felodifin, amlodifin. Exception is verapamil and diltazem. Easy way to remember the beta blocker, I have a very nice doll. A for amlodifin, B stands for verapamil, N stands for nifidifin, D stands for diltazem. Right? So how this medication works, the mechanism of action, calcium chain blocker blocks the ion channel, calcium channel from crossing into the heart muscle cell. The effect, they decrease the blood pressure, so we use as an antihypertensive. They reduce the pulse rate, but increase the contractility of heart, so increase the blood increase the blood supply. So, what are the common side effects? Calcium chain blocker can cause hypotension. So it is very important to monitor our patient. Track headache, peripheral edema. You can see the picture we call pitting edema. Fluid is accumulate in the feet, we can see. Or GI upset, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, flushing. You see in this picture, cutaneous, cutaneous blood supply, increase in the facial area. Also, synco. What are the contraindication? So before apply the calcium chain blocker, we could check the heart rate. We could hold if the heart rate less than 60, bit per minute. And contraindication is, tell your patient to avoid grapes fruits with calcium chain blocker. What are the other drugs is good to avoid with grapes fruit juice? One is ARB, means angiotensin receptor blockers and Carbamazepin, not with grapes fruit juice. So let me share nursing intervention or implication. So we could educate our patient if they see peripheral edema or ankle edema, they should report to the healthcare provider. Also, it is good to avoid operating heavy machineries. They need to avoid the work where they need alertness and avoid the grapes fruit juice. What else? Next is calcium chain blocker, sorry, beta blocker. So beta adrenergic blockers, shortly called beta blocker, 
beta blocker we use to management hypertension and pectoris or congestive heart failure and prevent mi so the drug's name we use etinolol propanolol nadolol metoprolol and carbidilol the beta blocker ends is o l o l the most common beta blockers or example are metoprolol or etinolol what are the common side effect as i told you each and every hypertensive medication has a common side effect they can cause hypotension or bradycardia dizziness impotency so if your patient is reproductive age group very young it is good to avoid beta blocker you don't kill their sexual life they can cause diarrhea or nausea hypoglycemia so if your patient have a diabetic we educate them to adjust the insulin level because beta blocker increase the insulin level increase the chance of congestive heart failure increase the chance of develop peripheral vascular disease if your patient has a bronchial asthma beta blocker is not a suitable choice because beta blocker can cause bronchospasm so diabetic patient bronchial asthma patient heart failure is a not a good choice how beta blocker works what are the mechanism of action beta blocker block epinephrine and norepinephrine from bringing to the beta receptor on nerves epinephrine and norepinephrine increase the blood pressure beta blocker blocks them so they do not work blood pressure go down what are the effect as like as calcium chain blocker they decrease blood pressure so we use as a anti hypertensive they reduce the pulse rate and forces but they increase the contractibilities of heart and it increase the blood supply what are the contraindication of beta blockers before give beta blocker we have to check the pulse rate we could hold if the heart rate less than 60 beat per minute if your patient give the history of bronchial asthma we do not never give beta blocker so bronchial asthma diabetics is a contraindication and do not use beta blocker with over the counter or cold medication and clicks board like to ask a question we call and clicks tips beta blockers only will treat glaucoma and timolol is the drug of choice timolol is a beta blocker so what are the nursing implication what we educate our patient about beta blocker before give check the pulse monitor blood glucose level in diabetic patient it is good to administer beta blocker with food and if time come to stop the medication taper dose to discontinue don't suddenly stop the medication 
the contraindication, easy way to remember. I said A, B, C, D, and E. A stands for asthma, B stands for heart block, C stands for cardiac failure, D stands for diabetes mellitus, and E stands for extremities. We call peripheral vascular disease or obstructive arteries. So if your patient has an asthma, if your patient has a diabetes mellitus, if your patient has a history of heart failure or cardiac failure, if patient give a history of peripheral vascular disease, we never ever give beta blocker. 